Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we can take 4 raised to power 4 to this side. And this becomes x minus 2, 4 raised to power 4, then minus 4 raised to power 4, then equals to 0 from here. That is, here we can write this as x minus 2. All raised to power 2 then all raised to power 2 again since this power multiplies 2 times 2 will still be 4 then minus same thing here we have 4 square then all square again equals to 0 from here that is this follows the difference of two squares when we have a square minus b square which is same thing as a plus b into brackets then open bracket a minus b that is a is standing as x minus 2 all square and b stand as 4 square and what we have here follow this and becomes x minus 2 all square plus 4 square close brackets and also open brackets x minus 2 all square minus 4 square close brackets then equals to 0 from here and this implies here we have two possible cases the first one we have x minus 2 all square plus 4 square equals to 0 or we have x minus 2 all square minus 4 square equals to 0 here then solving from the first case here expansion here follows a minus b all square which we can write as a square plus b square minus 2 ab as this here this becomes x square plus 2 square minus 2 times x times 2 then plus 4 square here that's 16 equals to 0 here that is we have x square plus 2 square that's 4 then minus also 4x here plus 16 equals to 0 here and when we rearrange and we have 4 and 16 so this becomes x square minus 4x then plus 20 equals to zero here then we have a quadratic equation here where a equals to one b equals to minus four and c equals to 20. then from the formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus four ac over two a this becomes x equals to minus minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 20 then over 2 times 1 here that is yeah this becomes x equals to minus times minus is plus so we have plus 4 plus or minus square root of Minus 4 squared that's 16, then minus 4 times 1 times 20, that's 80, then over 2 from here. That is, here we have x equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80, that minus 64, then over 2 here. That is, here we have x equals to 4 plus or minus we can separate that so 64 times minus 1 then over 2 and also when we separate this from here and bring out root 64 and that's 8 so we have 4 plus or minus 8 then root minus 1 same thing as i from here then over 2 then 2 is common here so we have x equals to 2 into bracket 2 plus or minus 4 high here then over 2 that is 2 here cancel each other and we are left with x equals to 2 plus or minus 4 high 
So here we have two complex solutions from here. Then solving from the second case here, also this follows from what we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b into bracket, then open bracket a minus b from here. Then a here is same thing as x minus 2, and b here is same thing as 4. That is what we have here now. Follow this and becomes x minus 2 plus 4 into brackets. Then open bracket x minus 2 minus 4 plus brackets. Then equals to 0 from here. That is here. This bracket remain x plus 2 into brackets. Then here this remain x minus 6 brackets then equals to zero and here we have two possible cases x plus two equals to zero or we have x minus six equals to zero which implies here yeah, x equals to minus two we have a real solution here also here yeah, x equals to six which is also a real solution here then we can list out the solutions now which are four solutions together x1 here say that's six then x2 we have minus two then x3 from the complex solutions here we have that as two plus four high that's two plus four high then from that again x4 we have 2 minus 4i. So here yeah, it implies we have four solutions all together, which are two real solutions and two complex solutions. And thank you for watching us here at Master T Math Class. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class. Bye for now.